The woman traveling through Atlanta back to Fort Myers has been missing for over a week and her family. They want answers tonight. Fox Five's Kim Leffler joins us with more. Kim, this woman was going back where from Cleveland? She was in Cleveland okay. heading back to Fort Myers and stopped here in Atlanta and Cleveland police say 24 24 year old Dana Schrader boarded a bus as I said heading to Fort Myers on April 28th stopping here in Atlanta but never made it back home. Her family is now desperate to bring her back. We not like her to be in contact not contacting us at all and we're just hoping for the best, but fearing for the worst. Angelo Gonzalez says he and his family are struggling, not knowing where his sister Dana Schrader has gone. Last I talked to her was Friday night. Um, she was back, back on her way um, from Cleveland to come see us. We were going to pick her up at the bus station on Sunday morning. Cleveland police say Schrader was in Cleveland seeking work and rehab treatment. She boarded a Greyhound bus on April 28th, headed to Fort Myers. They say she has multiple health issues and can't go much longer longer without medication. They sent us a statement saying in part Greyhound has given bus travel log showing Dana's bus stopped in Ringgold, Georgia because of a flat tire and then had a layover in the Atlanta, Georgia Greyhound bus terminal. Multiple attempts have been made to Atlanta's Greyhound station with no response. Witnesses via Facebook have advised that they believe they saw her at the Atlanta Greyhound but did not see her board the final bus to Fort Myers. Like I said that night she was on the bus and saying that the bus had broke down that she she didn't know if she was going to get off it or not. I just told her don't. Ever since then, her phone's been off and we just nobody's been able to contact her. He's hoping someone knows something about where she may be. And we lost our parents and it's pretty much the only really immediate family that I have left. Like, that's my baby sister. We're just really worried. Cleveland police also said the Dalton FBI office is assisting with the investigation. Eric. Oh, Kim, that's so scary. I know her family, a lot of answers out there. Hopefully they can find something that brings them comfort. Absolutely. Thanks so much.